and I would see the priest at the altar and I would think to myself, wow, I, I think I'd like to do that. I think that's what God is calling me to do. My vocation story is not all that exciting in that it wasn't some sort of large mandate from God. It was sort of an idea that God never really let me forget about. It started in high school when I would go to Mass with my parents and I would see the priest at the altar and I would think to myself, wow, I, I think I'd like to do that. I think that's what God is calling me to do. I told my parents that I thought that God might be calling me to the priesthood and they gave me some really good advice, at least advice that worked for me. And they said to go to college first, to get a degree that will make me more valuable to the service of God's people and to the church. So I did. I went to college and I have an undergrad degree in business administration. My junior year in college, that idea of the priesthood resurfaced again in my mind and in my prayer life. And so I started looking for religious communities. I reached out to a few, but didn't get much response. Until one day, I found a Vision Vocation Magazine online, their online service. I filled out the very lengthy profile, and when I hit submit, they immediately responded with a couple of religious communities that might be, that, whose charism might be in line with the answers that I provided. The Benedictines were one, the Franciscans were the other, third on the list for the Trinitarians. I reached out to all three and the Trinitarians were the first ones to reach back. So I jokingly say that my Trinitarian vocation began as a result of modern technology. I visited the community a couple of months later after being in contact with our vocation director. And I saw a vibrant community of men deeply committed to the mission of St. John de Mathen spreading God's mercy and redemption to the world. I also saw a community of men deeply committed to one another, expressing their lives through fraternal love and charity, men who deeply cared about one another, who knew each other, and who were involved in each other's lives, all together working to progress a common mission of the order. On September 12, 2020, with my family and brother Trinitarians in attendance, I knelt down before the bishop and rose again a priest of Jesus Christ. I feel like my, my vocation has now come full circle, only to begin again in service to God, the church, the order, and my students here at DeMatha Catholic High School. I find no greater joy in life than celebrating the sacrifice of the Mass for the people of God. I also love connecting with people in the confessional listening to all of their hurts and their burdens, and offering them the peace of Christ that comes from the sacrament. I encourage anyone who might feel that they have a call to the priesthood, or especially to the religious life, to pay attention to that call, to seek out people who can help you discern that call, and to pray, and then to make a decision. When we make a decision to follow Christ, it's never an easy decision, but he promises us that he will hold us always in the palm of his hand, that he will never abandon us, and that he will bring people into our lives that will support and help us along the way. I'm Father Josh, Trinitarian and campus minister at DeMatha Catholic High School in Hyattsville, Maryland. This is my story. What's yours?